The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner and go on to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. Here we go. The 30-man Royal Rumble matchup and drawing number one is Friday Night SmackDown's Charismatic Enigma, Jeff Hardy. This is how you kick off the Royal Rumble. It is main event time. It's been one hell of an evening. January 1st, 2023 is absolutely going down in the history books. We want to thank you for joining us on such an amazing night so far, and it's only going to get better. The main event. 15 superstars from Raw, 15 superstars from SmackDown, and one golden opportunity hanging in the balance. One of these next 30 combatants are gonna be in the main event of WrestleMania, competing for either the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. Cannot wait to see who that one man is gonna be, who's gonna be the last man standing here tonight. It could very well be the man in the red, the charismatic enigma, the extreme enigma, the former WWE and world champion. Jeff Hardy's held both goals before. Could you imagine if Jeff Hardy makes it to the show of shows to do it all over again? Jeff Hardy representing Friday Night SmackDown, one of their 15 athletes in this Royal Rumble matchup. But who is it gonna be? Starting off the Rumble matchup with Jeff Hardy at entrance number two. And feel the atmosphere here tonight. Oh, well this is interesting. Representing Monday Night Raw, Dominic Dijakovic, the man who, I checked my clock here, but I believe just under an hour ago, was competing in that very ring and unfortunately lost the World Tag Team Championship along with Damian Priest. Dominic Dijakovic got his bell rung, was hit with his own finishing maneuver, the Feast Your Eyes by Johnny Gargano. DIY, who is also in this Royal Rumble matchup, leaves Toronto with the gold. The Dijakovic trying to shake the cobwebs off and refocus. The World Tag Team titles, at least for now, gotta go behind him, and he's gotta focus on the opportunity at hand. Dominic Dijakovic representing Monday Night Raw at entrance number two and set to kick off the Royal Rumble matchup. Imagine if Dijakovic punches his ticket to WrestleMania. Not the luckiest spots for Jeff Hardy and Dijakovic at number one and number two, but it's not an impossible fleet to last all the way and win the Royal Rumble matchup. We've seen it done before. We could see it again. And here we go, the bell has sounded. The 30-man Royal Rumble main event is underway. Jeff Hardy again from Friday Night SmackDown. Dominic Dijakovic from Monday Night Raw. Thrown over the top rope, both feet hitting the floor, you are eliminated. It's gonna be very interesting to see how Dominic Dijakovic, and later on in this matchup, Damian Priest and DIY are affected by their action earlier tonight. And here we go, who is gonna join the fray at entrance number three? Oh, oh, well it gets even more interesting. One half of the new world tag team champions, the man who knocked out Dijakovic earlier tonight, Johnny Gargano. And Gargano taking the fight to Dominic Dijakovic, but I'm sure Dijakovic is fired up to get his hands on Johnny Gargano once again here tonight. It's as if they never left the squared circle. The action from earlier tonight rolls into the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. Gargano represents Raw. Three men have entered. Number four is on his way here in the 30-man main event. And number four representing Friday Night SmackDown, the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. Two apiece for each brand right now. Dolph Ziggler, a man who has been in the Royal Rumble matchup plenty of times throughout his career. Imagine if Ziggler can accomplish that incredible feat of winning this matchup here tonight. 
Jeff Hardy, Johnny Gargano going at it. What a one-on-one -on -one matchup that would be in the future. Dominic Dajakovic eyeing up Dolph Ziggler. That's what the Royal Rumble's all about. Action continues. They're going to keep on coming until there are no more. Oh, man, at number five, business has picked up the undefeated Karrion Cross. An early entry for Karrion Cross, but if there's anybody who's got the intestinal fortitude, the toughness to last all the way to the end, it's Cross. And Jeff Hardy trying to make sure that Cross isn't going to be an X factor in this matchup. Karrion Cross represents Monday Night Raw. Look at Dijakovic right there with that choke breaker of Gargano. Again, that's got to feel good for Dominic Dijakovic after losing the gold to Gargano and Champ earlier tonight. Oh, and at number six, the hits are going to keep on coming. I tell you, the Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne enters the fray. We have four superstars from Raw, two from SmackDown here in your 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. Imagine if Pete Dunne could win this match and hold on to the Intercontinental Championship to WrestleMania, then he could have the chance. Oh, Johnny Gargano, your first casualty. I'm sure Dijakovic is probably a little upset by that. I'm sure he would have loved to got his hands on eliminating Gargano, but nonetheless, one half of the World Tag Team Champions is gone. Oh, Karrion Cross is gone. Dolph Ziggler, that, that's an upset if I ever saw one. Dolph Ziggler just eliminated Karrion Cross. That is a shocking elimination there early on for the undefeated Karrion Cross. What an elimination for Dolph Ziggler. The New Day's Xavier Woods entering the ring at number seven. Now watch your back in the Royal Rumble matchup. Even the best of them can get caught and can be eliminated at any time. First two casualties in the Rumble. Five men are in the ring right now. Who is going to be the eighth entrant into the 2023 Royal Rumble match? Oh, ho, ho, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. Braun returned to SmackDown two weeks ago, and that was back in the Royal Rumble matchup. Strowman has come close to winning this match before. Has been in the final few in this matchup. Remember back in 2019, even won the greatest Royal Rumble in 2018. But tonight is where it really matters, and it's all on the line. An opportunity to go to WrestleMania. Strowman laying out Dijakova, goes to Behemoth going out inside of the ring. We have number nine on the way, and it's going to be the Prince Finn Balor from Friday Night SmackDown, who after his loss in the United States Championship matchup just 48 hours ago, I'm sure the Prince is looking to bounce back here tonight. Get himself an opportunity at the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. This is where the Royal Rumble gets even more dangerous when the ring starts to fill up with bodies. You can't have eyes in the back of your head, but you got to watch your back the best you can. It's been talked about over the years, but the best strategy might just be to get to a corner where nobody can come from behind and you can kind of have a vision on everybody and try to save your neck in a match like this. Entrance number 10, who's joining the fray next? And it's the former WWE Champion for Monday Night Raw. A town down, Austin Theory enters the Royal Rumble matchup. And you may not like Austin Theory, but the fact that he is a top player on Monday Night Raw, the fact that he is a former WWE Champion, has got to make him a favorite to win the Royal Rumble. The Intercontinental Champion having his way, or at least moving on from him, but he was able to lay out Theory a moment ago. Look at the ring, super crowded right now with superstars. You got Austin Theory, Dominic Dijakovic, Xavier Woods, and Pete Dunne from Monday Night Raw, Jeff Hardy, Dolph Ziggler, Finn Balor, and Braun Strowman from Friday Night SmackDown. Split four apiece, look at Dijakovic, another choke breaker. It's the second time in the matchup he's used that maneuver, and it plays to his advantage. Dijakovic is tearing it up so far. For a man who has already competed earlier tonight, Already lasting 10 entrants in this Rumble matchup. Credit where credit is due. Dominic Dijakovic. They don't call him a rare breed for a reason. For any reason, I should say. Only two casualties so far. One half of the World Tag Team Champions, Johnny Gargano, was eliminated in this matchup. And then Dolph Ziggler. What an upset 
for him, able to eliminate the undefeated Karrion Cross. And now we're left with these eight superstars in the ring right now. With Braun Strowman and the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne going at it. Austin Theory, Finn Balor going at it. Pete Dunne over the top rope, holding on right now. Lucky for him, Braun Strowman put Dijakovic in his sights. Jeff Hardy splitting the legs of Xavier Woods. New Day's Kofi Kingston as well as Big E will be in this Royal Rumble matchup in later entrance. Very interesting to see if all the New Day contenders met inside the ring at the same time, if they would team up or... Look at that, speaking of team up, Finn Balor and Pete Dunne with a double rushing leg sweep on Austin Theory. Meanwhile, Dijakovic's got Braun Strowman reeling here. Can he get the big man up and over the top rope? And what an elimination would it be for Dijakovic. We could be looking at a breakout performance for the rare breed here tonight. Not able to eliminate Braun just yet. Dolph Ziggler, nice drop kick to Xavier Woods. Jeff Hardy goes for the swan time on Austin Theory, but Theory gets the knees up. So much action to call in the chaos of the Royal Rumble match. This is what the Rumble is all about. It's gonna keep on going until there's one man left inside of the middle of that ring, and that man will punch his ticket to the main event of WrestleMania. Pete Dunne's about to go in here, the Intercontinental Champion, almost eliminated by an old rival in Finn Balor. Nice sense of there by Pete. Dolph Ziggler trying to eliminate Xavier Woods in the corner right now. Xavier's holding on, Ziggler trying to eliminate that Monday Night Raw superstar, and there goes Woods! And there goes Austin Theory! Braun Strowman eliminating Austin Theory. That is huge. Not necessarily an upset in Braun Strowman's case, but Austin Theory, he had to be a favorite to win this matchup. Former WWE Champion, a main player on Monday Night Raw, just got tossed by the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. Anything can happen. Expect the unexpected in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. And just like that, the ring is cut down to six superstars. Two men from Monday Night Raw getting tossed, Theory and Xavier Woods. So we await our next entrant in a matter of moments. I can't believe that. Austin Theory eliminated by Braun Strowman. Theory's got to be upset about that one. Now Dijakovic, nice move to Ziggler. And Pete Dunne with the saying of the Prince as we await number 11 in the Royal Rumble matchup. Who's joining the 30-man fray? Oh, L.A. Knight, the defiant LA Knight from Friday Night SmackDown. Had a recent loss to Drew McIntyre and took matter, matters into his hands after the fact. A low blow to Drew McIntyre after the matchup. The loud mouth LA Knight looking to speak louder than he ever has before by winning the Royal Rumble and punching his ticket to WrestleMania. LA Knight will possibly never shut up if he wins a Royal Rumble matchup. Wait, entrance number 12 coming to the ring right now. The chaos that is going on inside of that ring is about to get a little bit more crazy with Santos Escobar from Friday Night SmackDown. The leader of Legado del Fantasma, a former multiple time Cruiserweight Champion in NXT and on SmackDown, Santos Escobar joins the matchup. Escobar, what a way it could be for him, a breakout performance for him if he can win this matchup. Legato El Fantasma getting a little bit more gold around their waist. Ziggler taking the fight to Braun Strowman right now. It's not usual where you see Braun Strowman in a predicament. The oh, and Pete Dunne gets Pete tossed. Has been Just like that, Pete Dunne, the brutality, catches up to the Intercontinental Champion, and an old rival, the Prince Finn Balor, able to throw him right out of the ring. Pete Dunne eliminated from the Royal Rumble, and Braun Strowman lays out Santos Escobar. And this is fun. This is exciting to watch. Who is going to go to WrestleMania? But Jeff Hardy, LA Knight, Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Santos Escobar, and Dolph Ziggler all representing SmackDown. Dominic Dijakovic, the only Raw superstar in there right now. And Dolph Ziggler's gone as well as Santos Escobar. Escobar is eliminated by Strowman. Finn Balor, another elimination there as he eliminates Dolph Ziggler. And Dijakovic eliminates Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy has been eliminated. 
Jeff Hardy entered at number one, Dijakovic number two. The rare breed getting rid of the charismatic enigma, and the ring starts to thin out a little bit as we await our next entry. Oh, well, Moss about the size of all the men that just got eliminated in one. The Nigerian giant enters at number 13. And a mass of humanity in there right now between the Nigerian giant Omos, the rare breed Dominic Dijakovic, and Braun Strowman. And oh, Omos is gone! Omos didn't last a lick. Oh, I almost feel bad. The Nigerian giant just got tossed in a matter of seconds here in the Royal Rumble matchup by Finn Balor. He dodged him, and the giant went right out of here. And Big E, a man who owns a recent victory over the Nigerian giant Omos on Monday Night Raw, representing the New Day, enters at number 14. And Omos came in, had Finn Balor in a predicament. Balor sidestepped him, and out went Omos. The fastest elimination in this matchup thus far. Big E representing Monday Night Raw. Dijakovic representing Raw as well, and three SmackDown superstars in there as we await number 15. We are halfway through the Royal Rumble matchup. Who's it gonna be? And it is the United States Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley enters the 30-man rumble, and he goes right after Finn Balor, one of two men that he defeated 48 hours ago on Friday Night SmackDown to retain his United States Championship. And Balor taken out Lashley there. You see that powerful maneuver in the background by Big E on Strowman. Lashley's got to be a favorite to win this matchup. The United States Champion is already really well. Finn Balor almost had him there. Finn, ba Finn Balor eliminates Lashley! All right, that's a couple of things to talk about here. Finn Balor, for one, is on a roll with eliminations in this matchup. I believe that's his fourth or fifth elimination. And the United States Champion in and out. That is a shock. Moments after I said Lashley was a favorite to win this, Finn Balor said, nah, -uh, get rid of the champion. Dexter Loomis enters the ring at number 16. I cannot believe the events we are witnessing right now. This matchup is chaotic at best. I cannot believe the United States Champion just got tossed. Moments after Finn Balor eliminated Omos in moments. And business continues to pick up nonetheless. Number 17, you want to talk about favorites to bring this match home? Look no further than the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, who makes a beeline for the man who laid him out on SmackDown a few weeks ago, LA Knight. Drew McIntyre won the Royal Rumble matchup back in 2020. After a lackluster 2022, McIntyre's looking to kick off the new year with a bang and take home the Royal Rumble matchup for the second time in his career, and there goes Loomis. Dijakovic eliminates Loomis, and Dijakovic still in here after entering at number two and competing earlier tonight. And speaking of earlier tonight, here comes Champa and Drew McIntyre just eliminated LA Knight. That's got to feel good for the Scottish Warrior. A little bit of payback there, but there goes Dijakovic. And there goes Strowman. Big E eliminates the monster. A couple of things to talk about there. First off, the World Tag Team Champion Ta Tommaso Ciampa enters the ring at 18. Drew McIntyre eliminates LA Knight. That's got to feel good for the Scottish Warrior. And then Finn Balor, another elimination here. I believe that might have been his sixth elimination, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe seventh as there goes Big E. The ring is thinning out here, and the Prince Finn Balor is dominating the squared circle. We may have to look at Finn Balor as possibly bringing this matchup home. At number 19, it's the former United States champion, Mustafa Ali, representing Friday Night SmackDown. You know, what a night it has been for Finn Balor. How many eliminations? Seven, eight? I, I've lost track, to be perfectly honest. As the ring is really thinned out after those last few eliminations. Ali going after Balor, Drew McIntyre taking it to one half of the new World Tag Team Champions, DIY's Tommaso Ciampa. I wonder what the condition of Ciampa is after that physical tag team title match earlier tonight. Disappointing to see Dijakovic go, but 
What a great performance he had. Nothing to be ashamed of. And at number 20, somebody who knows Drew McIntyre very well is the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, representing Monday Night Raw. And Sheamus going after the old rival, the old friend in McIntyre. Remember the last time these two men locked horns was at Survivor Series in the six-man elimination tag team matchup where McIntyre, Pete Dunne, and Shinsuke Nakamura defeated Apollo Crews, Finn Balor, and Sheamus. Oh, look at Balor. has got Ciampa reeling, and Balor going for another elimination here, but Ciampa holds on. Sheamus, McIntyre, Balor, Ali, Ciampa. Who's going to be next to join the ring? And number 21, representing SmackDown, it is Dominic Mysterio. Former tag team champion enters the ring as the ring once again becomes a bit crowded. It's like a 30-man mosh pit in the Royal Rumble matchup. Aller laying out Dominic Mysterio. Aller has been the dominator in this matchup the last number of minutes. Ali almost going. Able to hold on as Champa. And Champa eliminates Ali. Ali has been eliminated. Ali got caught getting back into the ring. And Tommaso Champa eliminating the former United States champion in Mustafa Ali. Dominic Mysterio trying to eliminate Finn Balor here and representing Monday Night Raw at number 22. The Invincible, Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov enters the ring, going after the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, somebody he's met in the past before. Oh, and Dominic. I'm just been going after Finn ever since entering the ring, but Finn Balor now is being the aggressor in that corner. Sheamus being taken down by Dragunov. Champa and McIntyre still going at it. McIntyre picks up Champa. We're going to eliminate one half of the World Tag Team Champions. And at number 23, our second member, or excuse me, the last member of the New Day to enter this matchup, Kofi Kingston. Xavier Woods already gone, Big E already gone. Both men eliminated by Finn Balor. No, I believe Finn Balor is eliminated, eliminated Big E. Xavier Woods is eliminated by Dolph Ziggler earlier on, but nonetheless, Kofi Kingston enters the Rumble. Kofi Kingston representing Monday Night Raw. Look, everybody is in that second half of the ring right there. A crowded area in the Royal Rumble matchup. This is where you gotta watch your back because you can get caught at any second. Balor looking to eliminate Dragunov. Another elimination for the Prince. Dragunov survives. And another former NXT United Kingdom champion enters the ring in the newest SmackDown signee, Tyler Bate. Meanwhile, Sheamus eliminates Dominic. Another elimination for the Celtic Warrior. Dominic Mysterio hits the showers. Tyler Bate, Ilya Dragunov both in there right now. Two former NXT United Kingdom champions in this Royal Rumble matchup. Dragunov, or Jimmy Bate taking over Finn Balor. Those two men got recent history on Saturday night's main event on December the 21st in Columbus. Meanwhile, Sheamus is trying to eliminate Dragunov here. Dragunov holding on. At least for another moment, Sheamus is pushing, pushing the invincible one. Is Dragunov going to hold on and break away? And he does. McIntyre going after Bate, the smaller competitor. Balor still in this matchup, and Finn has got Kofi Kingston, and the Prince going for another elimination here. And there goes Kofi. Finn Balor is on a roll in the 2023 Royal Rumble match, and business has just picked up with the undefeated Ring General Walter. And now we have three former NXT United Kingdom champions in the ring right now. I'll make it two as Ilya Dragunov gets eliminated by who other than Finn Balor. And there goes Tommaso Ciampa, by the way, a Tyler Bate as well. Tommaso Ciampa has been eliminated. And what a matchup we are witnessing. Walter chopping the life out of Finn. We're going to have to go check the record books after this matchup. Maybe when it's Sheamus. Oh, well, Sheamus is almost gone there by Tyler Bate. Finn Balor might is upwards to almost 10 eliminations possibly. Well, there goes the Prince. And there goes Drew McIntyre. Walter dumping over the Scottish Warrior. And anything can happen in the Royal Rumble. Anything is possible in the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup. Finn Balor's epic night comes to an end by hands of Sheamus. 
Drew McIntyre's dreams of winning another Royal Rumble come crashing down by the hands of Imperium's Walter. Robert Roode from Friday Night SmackDown has entered the ring at entrance number 26. And right now we got four competitors thinning out the ring at least for another moment. Walter, Tyler Bate, and Roode representing SmackDown. Oh, look at this, a little double team action from Sheamus and Walter. Tyler Bate in there, gonna give credit where it's due to the young kid. And at number 27, representing Monday Night Raw, the original bro, Matt Riddle. Riddle picked up a win this past Monday night for the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Is tonight gonna be the original bro's night to make his way to WrestleMania? Right now, Tyler Bate, the exploder to Riddle. Riddle entrance lucky number 27. Multiple competitors, more than any other number, have won from that number in the past. Oh, and Riddle with a nice knee on Tyler Bate. Walter working over Robert Roode right now. Going for the chop, and Roode luckily able to avoid it. Now takes the fight to Sheamus. And the hits just keep on coming. Number 28, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, Walter may be the biggest competitor in the ring right now. Sheamus may be the strongest, but Shinsuke Nakamura is the only man inside the squared circle at the current moment that has won a Royal Rumble matchup. Gotta believe that makes Nakamura the favorite in this situation at the moment. Nakamura and Walter going at it. Riddle and Tyler Bate going at it. Sheamus and Rude with a pier six ball in the middle of the ring. Walter goes for the chop on Nakamura. Nakamura avoids it. I believe we are entering number 29. And it's one half of the former tag team champions, Damian Priest. Dominic Dijakovic showed up and showed out tonight. Unfortunately, he's already hit the showers. Can Damian Priest have a little bit of different luck? Oh, Walter about to be eliminated here by Nakamura. Nakamura not able to get it done. Damian Priest took Randy Orton to the limit, the WWE Champion a few weeks ago on Raw. Imagine if Priest wins the Rumble matchup. He gets the opportunity to fight the champion of WrestleMania. He could very well fight Orton again, and this time we win him. But number 30 is on the way. Who is going to be the final entrant in the Royal Rumble matchup? It is the whole damn show. Rob Van Dam. At the last spot, number 30, there are no more. Robert Roode has been eliminated, and one of these seven men inside the squared circle right now are gonna punch their ticket to WrestleMania. Let's set the stage, Rob Van Dam, Sheamus, Damian Priest and Riddle from Monday Night Raw, Nakamura, Tyler Bate, and Walter from Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, RVD about to be eliminated, Tyler Bate about to be eliminated. Bate is gone. And Riddle trying to eliminate Nakamura here. Brings the ring down to six, at least for the moment. Impressive showing by the young Tyler Bate. Hung in there for a couple of minutes. Now down to six competitors in the Royal Rumble. Matchup, Damian Priest eliminates Walter. What an elimination from the Archer of Infamy. Damian Priest eliminates Imperium's ring general Walter in the Royal Rumble matchup. And just like that, the ring is cut down to the final five. Nakamura, your only Friday Night SmackDown competitor left, but four men representing Monday Night Raw, and Nakamura almost eliminated there by Riddle. Look at the talent that is in there right now. Former world champions, Sheamus, most recently the Intercontinental Champion in late last year, middle of last year, Damian Priest earlier tonight was one half of the World Tag Team Champions trying to bounce back in this matchup. RVD, who just a few weeks ago on Raw was competing for the number one contendership for the WWE title. I mean, we got a superstar studded ring in the ring right now. All five legitimate contenders to main event WrestleMania. Riddle trying to eliminate Rob Van Dam, not just yet. Nakamura now trying to work over RVD. It was entrance number 30. You gotta believe RVD, the freshest competitor because of it. Sheamus going after Riddle. RVD survives for another moment. 
One of these five men is going to WrestleMania. Who's going to be the last man standing? His business continues to heat up in Sistosa Bank Arena here in Toronto. January 1st, 2023, and the 2023 Royal Rumble matchup. What a matchup it has been. Riddle trying to eliminate Sheamus. Sheamus holding on at least momentarily here. And there he goes. Sheamus has been eliminated. Riddle eliminates the Celtic Warrior, and the ring is cut down to four. Riddle, RVD, and Priest from Raw, Nakamura from SmackDown. Riddle, go for the powerbomb on RVD, runs out and sits out with it. Could be Riddle fighting his old tag team partner, Randy Orton, at WrestleMania. It could be RVD reigniting a decade-old rivalry with Randy Orton at WrestleMania. What about Damian Priest getting another shot to take Orton to the limit? What about Nakamura challenging for the World Championship? on Friday Night SmackDown at WrestleMania. We're gonna find out who it's gonna be in just a matter of minutes. Look at this riddle, Bulldog on Damian Priest. And this is where you fight with every ounce of energy you have left in your heart, that you got left in your soul. With the opportunity that hangs in the balance, nobody is gonna wanna give up here tonight and miss out on main eventing the show of shows. And look at this Priest with that razor's edge to Nakamura. And that move right there almost defeated Randy Orton on Raw a few weeks back. With pinfalls in this matchup, it can certainly do the damage to get Nakamura out of the ring. Meanwhile, Priest, look oh yeah, at a package pop power bomb by the Archer. It's a nice insiguri by Riddle there on RBD. Damian Priest trying to come from behind on the original bro. Riddle having none of it. Riddle goes for the knee. Nakamura counters. You see the damage starting to pay a toll in this matchup with all of these competitors. The Royal Rumble matchup is physical on your soul, and there goes Shinsuke. Has been eliminated. SmackDown's chances of winning the Rumble go up in dusk, and we are down to your final three, all representing Monday Night Raw. Could be about two as RVD is reeling. Damian Priest is trying to eliminate Mr. Monday Night himself right now. But RVD hangs on at least for the moment. Riddle tackles down Damian Priest. Final three men in the 2023 Royal Rumble matchup. Matt Riddle, Damian Priest, Rob Van Dam, who went to at number 30. Now Riddle, ruling the ring at the moment. Tries to go for the knee on Priest, but Re or excuse me, Priest, able to get his wits about him there. Riddle still continuing on the offense, going after RVD. No. Send time, but Priest gets the knees up. All three men staggering at the moment. Everyone trying to pick their opportunity. Doesn't want to get tossed and miss out on main event in the show of shows. Priest and Riddle are going at it. And this is great for RVD because he is getting a moment here to rest. But there you see your final three in the Royal Rumble matchup. A standoff between three Monday Night Raw superstars. Matt Riddle, Rob Van Dam, Damian Priest. Who is going to WrestleMania? RVD dragging a lifeless Damian Priest over to the ropes, trying to eliminate the Archer of Infamy. Damian Priest is holding on. Remember, he competed earlier tonight. God only knows how much Priest still has left in the tank. Oh, RVD's pushing with all his might, but Damian Priest showing that intestinal fortitude to survive another moment in this Royal Rumble matchup. RVD goes behind. Nice snap, German there. That has got to hurt on the Archer. Priest with a nice shot. Priest, oh, look at this. Could be going for a razor's edge again on Riddle. No, going for a power bomb. Could be trying to send him over the top rope, but Riddle able to avoid disaster there and hits the knee. Could be a knockout blow any day of the week and twice on Sunday. And RVD takes down Riddle. You see the momentum just shifting all around this ring in a triangle right now. Everybody trying to give everything they got. Riddle better watch himself. He was dangerously close to the ropes right there. Almost eliminated by Rob Van Dam. But keep his eye on Damian Priest. The Archer is looming. Oh no, look at this, Priest. The reckoning on Matt Riddle. And that's enough to take anybody out for good. Riddle might be lifeless right now. If Damian Priest can muscle up the dead weight, I think he's got an easy elimination in the original bro. And Riddle's trying to get his wits about him. RVD and Priest going at it. Damian Priest sits out with it on the Falcon Arrow. 
You gotta watch Matt Riddle coming from behind. Damian Priest had no idea, and now he's in a predicament, and there goes the arch of infamy. We are down to two. Rob Van Dam, Matt Riddle, the original bro versus Mr. Monday Night. One of these men is going to WrestleMania. Who is it gonna be main eventing the show of shows for Monday Night Raw's WWE Championship? Both missing off maneuvers there. RVD with a scoop and a slam to the original bro. Now Van Dam going for that pump handle. No, RVD gets caught in the back with a knee by Riddle. And a drop kick for good measures. And Matt Riddle finds himself in the driver's seat, at least for a moment. RVD is staggering. Matt Riddle here, any means necessary to win the 30-man battle royal. RVD is down and out. He's got to get his wits about him now or never. Over the top rope he goes. RVD is eliminated. Riddle wins. Riddle wins. Riddle wins. The 30-man 2023 Royal Rumble matchup comes to a close, and the original bro has punched his ticket. Here is your winner, Riddle. What a night, what a rumble, and that man right there, the original bro, Matt Riddle, better be counting his blessings, because not only is he going to WrestleMania, but who holds the WWE Championship right now? The man that Riddle has wanted to get his hands on for damn near six months, Randy Orton. And if Orton's still the champion come WrestleMania, it's gonna be a night in heaven for that man, the original bro. Matt Riddle outlasts 29 other superstars. The original bro is going to WrestleMania. Thank you for joining us here tonight and kicking off your new year at the Scotiabank in Toronto. The Royal Rumble 2023 is going down the history books. No doubt about that. Thank you for joining us from Toronto. Matt Riddle is going to the main event of WrestleMania. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rapper.